up, everybody? Hi, everybody. Hi, hey, my uh, lovely wife. We've yeah. had a fun day. And our lovely Bruce Alverson. <laughs> and our lovely team. Bruce and our lovely Tim. <laughs> our lovely, lovely. <laughs> lovely. They're like, what y'all been smoking? <laughs> Nothing. Stephon, what up, Stefan? Uh, Corey's <laughs> all with us, guy. brother. He's not riding his motorcycle. No, glad, I'm miles. glad he, he he stopped by both our places on this yeah. trip. So yeah, we had some great conversation with him and Jeff. So I loved it. Um, I always love getting visitors. Jeff, let y'all have a, a conversation. <laughs> He's seen the picture. We all know like, Jeff wow. likes to talk. So what up, Armagio? Armio. Bruce said he never, never considered seen. lovely. <laughs> well, yard us. Yeah. Isn't he lovely? Anyway. Hey, what's up, Glenn? So Glenn works at uh, you know, that's one of my buddies. What's up, man? I hear a lot about you through Andy, and uh, and y'all got a great thing going. So OG Ginger, that's right. Yeah, <laughs> gentlemen, it's our first Facebook user. So with We're that, good. go back to the description, hit the link, grant Streamyard permission to not show you as a Facebook user. So anyway, with that. Me and Andy just got back from a great uh, time in Pittsburgh with our mastermind meetings and PDR 20 group. And the Feddies had a tech meetup at Dent Repair Now, which was awesome. Yeah. yeah if y'all hadn't seen, like, which we did a couple of videos. We did one at the place we did the uh, mastermind group at. That place was amazing. It had so many yes. uh, sweet cars in it and just a good, cool place to hang out. And then yep. we had the uh, the fist bumps of all the tech meetups, so. <laughs> and some yep. people trying to bump other things, but we ain't gonna talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's, it's the only guy drives short bus, so yeah. Uh, no, great time, uh, especially getting to see see a couple guys that we haven't seen in in a while, a um, couple of years really. Um, yeah, Dan Rikiki, I Dan seen Rikiki, him Josh Roberts even stopped by, yeah, awesome. and you know uh, several others, but getting to get to see those that we don't get to see all the time that was great so vanessa's ready for frank she said i love my ginger beer man <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome well uh, without further ado then <laughs> hey real, real quick let me get these announcements real quick uh so tomorrow night ryan shut he's gonna have mr john Dean. he's gonna be on and then they're doing uh dent nerds afterwards late night because that's how they roll so y'all tune into that and then Friday, I don't know if you guys have seen it, Dent Slayers uh, got a new page up and everything. About to be coming out with some crazy stuff. Uh, Friday, they'll be announcing some new tools, and we'll keep announcing tools. Like, they're about to they're about to hit it hard with the new tools. So Yeah. Tools, swag, everything. Let's, let's get shit done. <laughs> can't, can't wait. To, yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Dang it, Biggs. <laughs> um, no, yeah, our, our guest tonight is Frank Sale. Frank's been uh, watching the show here lately for a while, and... Uh, of course, when we have a show, because we <laughs> we've been kind of lax with everything that we have coming on. Let's see, Frank said, <laughs> "Let's get shit done." I love it. What so anyway, <laughs> uh, so yeah, let's bring him on. We got our third ginger here. What's up, Frank? How's it we, going, fellas? We were, we were great. We we're having technical difficulties. We may still have a few. Um, I don't we had some echo, but it's gone. On. So I can at least not, if I can not hear myself talk immediately after I talk, I'm good. <laughs> That's yeah. all I mean. <laughs> that, that would stress me. I'd be like, huh? What? Who's saying that? If I could not hear you when you talk, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> no. You know where the mute button's at. <laughs> <laughs> I only use that when, when you go take a piss. But anyway, uh, so glad to have you on, Frank. Uh, you know, so we can get to know you better. I didn't even put two to two together that, you know, you're the, the, the get shit done guy. So, um, that's pretty awesome. And we'll talk about that, you know, here and an epic bit. beard. You're right. Bees. The beard is yeah. epic. I've been called much, much. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could grow a beautiful beard like that. Mine only look like an Afro on my face when I get done. It's so curly in there. I can't do it. <laughs> I can only go so long and get it. It, it just, I get really dry skin, even using, oils and everything else it just finally just drives me insane i just gotta cut it off right so, it kudos ball, to you that you can do yeah that. it's beautiful Proof of patience. <laughs> that's it that's one thing i don't have <laughs> so anyway so let's uh 
we'll, we'll dive straight straight in. Straight in. We're going to drive straight in. That's a yeah. mobile coming out. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, you know, give us a, a quick background of, of how you found out and how you got started into PDR to where you are today, if you don't mind. Okay. Um, um, yeah, so 2003 is my 20th, 20th year in the industry. Um, so, by like everybody, you know, growing up, growing up, our parents love to love people around us say, you know, get, get good, good grades, or get an education, or pick a tra- trade. You know, back in the 1900s, you know, our parents told us, told, you know, get a job, job with pension, go work there 30 years, 40 years. So, uh, I learned how to weld in high school because I knew I could always get a job. I could always be paid decent. And so, the last job job that I had, I started, started Valentine's Day, day 94. I was 8, 18 years old. But the cut working at had a 30 year retirement program. Uh, so, I was going to retire 48 with, with the pension. I was raised to do and told to you know, by people that loved me. Uh, the only problem was that after after I'm working at five years, years they sold the company. Um, and generally, when companies sold to show profit, and so on, they change benefits and so on and stuff like that. So that 30 year retirement that I'm looking forward forward to now, they said you yeah, you have until you're at least 55, no matter what or what, um, to get full pension. So uh, I knew some, I knew some guys that did did paintless hair, um, and you know for me especially back at that time I was I was twenty 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 five around this this time frame, uh, you know I looked at it and uh, I decided you know I, I have a decision to make here either I I, uh, I accept what this company is willing to give me, uh, just for you know basically they shut damn mouth and go and go to work, uh, I can I can do about it so. so I saw this, my friends, these guys, we had talked about training. Um, it just never panned out about the right time or place. Uh, but they told me, told me that if I, if I ever learned, it, they, they put me to work. So me, my simplistic mindset, it's like, well, shit, it's just working with your hands and hands. And my hands are smart. I'm afraid of hard work. So I bought a $100 VS tape from Anson way back back in the day. Uh, some used tools. Um, my dad had been self-employed in our, our local area for, for a couple of decades, decades in the truck repair. Place. So we had a lot of friends that knew us either in a body shop or somewhere where, where I could go grab, grab a hood or some. Um, um, and so that's what I did. I did a videotape, uh, took it upon myself to, you know, be disciplined with my time and, and put the time in. And then March, March of 2003, three of all for layoff. And uh, like 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 the uh, slow slogan of coffee, you know, you know, I'll be down the street so hard. I swear, swear I get off of the potholes. <laughs> That's awesome. That's when I, I started in 2003 too, but I took a different round. I was obviously started with Dent Wizard, so. But uh-huh. yeah, self taught. There's a lot of self taught guys out there killing yeah. it. And I love I'm it. Self taught, like, but yeah. I was 10 years after you. I started in 2013, but right. Uh, nice. I'm still fixing bigger shit to me. You can have it. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I love it. The VHS tape that that explained a lot of it. You got you got the VHS tape and some used tools. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, I could find that sucker, man. I've, I've tore the shop shop up looking for it, but they you know, got they got lost somewhere. Right. You could have like a memorial for it, have it up on the wall. Like, this is what started it off. <laughs> yeah. The ribbon all exactly. hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, man. Exactly. Nah, that's awesome. But, so, so, do you have, you, you got your own company right now or? Yes. Yeah, so, I've always owned a company. It's, it's called Allied Dent Rule because as A starts, you know, you know, Alphabet and the phone, phone book, you know, back when we had phone books. Um, and, uh, yeah, I had, had my own, own logo and so on. So, so that's, it's still allied, allied dent removal. Um, and following like some of the principles from a book called Acre of Diamonds by Russell Kong. Well, uh, you, you know, it's about try trying to extract the value out of the, of the things that you're currently doing. So, uh, a few years ago, one, one of the things I like to do is kind of an investment is buy domains, website, domain, domains, say GoDaddy. If I have, I have an idea, I'll go to go to GoDaddy, see if the domain's domains available. So, so it's not, well, oh, local hail repair. And so I went and bought localrepair.com. Um, and eventually that'll be like a marketing arm of, of my business or a brand brand. So currently I have local hail repair.com and then 
the next town over that I'm working in, I have local helipair.com forward slash slash grid end so that I, that I can market a specific yeah. specific top location. And then eventually Smart. once once we once we get that di dialed in, um how I can do local helipair.com Dallas or uh, whatever Minneapolis and, and, and either create, create a system to where I, I can myself and and cover cover the leads or I can sell them or leverage myself into another shop or something. Um, but just another, another another way to do create create riff from what we're already doing. Yeah, for sure. We try to. I mean, we've done that. Like get on GoDaddy and try to buy stuff that's kind of specific to this area for you know yeah. dent repair and everything. And do you? Uh, some of them, do you have their own web pages or do you just revert them back to your main web page? It's just a weird page of my my main page. Like mm -hmm. the uh, the uh, great the local local helipad on forward slash great bend. It just has a pop up that says now serving great great bend area with the the uh, street address address, and it just takes takes them to uh, if they want want to a form that they can fill out fill out um, to either have contact them or they can upload their damage or their estimate whatever. Uh, Whatever they, whatever they choose to play. Okay. Sweet. Love it. Yeah, as long, as, as, long as you don't go buy domains of your competitor's name. Yeah. Uh -huh. And try to use it to direct all their business. We know that's you. been done and it's pretty yeah. shady. <laughs> yeah. Pretty shady. I don't yeah, care how right. bad I don't care how bad that <clears throat> other tech is and stuff like that. Um <laughs> it, it's that's just not right too but you're you're doing right i've i've yeah. gotten several uh this year that i went on and and purchased uh, especially during this hailstorm and stuff that were like that like you like you're doing uh, uh -huh. but it doesn't tie other companies to me you know what i mean yeah <laughs> so, yeah but it, right but it's really it, it's it's playing off words and, and stuff to especially with dent repair so like yeah a couple of our viewers real quick we got steven what's up Lane, you got a lot of fans on here. Crystal, uh, Crystal, ain't seen her in a while. What's up, girl? Yeah. Johnny Cruz. Oh, him this John, weekend. John, that's a uh, what I call Chuggles. him. Yeah, that's Tom Hanks. John Krug is now Tom Hanks because that's who he looks like. He's so skinny. <laughs> he looks like Tom Hanks on the island when when he you know when his FedEx plane went down. So, Mister Hunter, poor guy, the Bears fan. That's gotta suck. Uh, Charles <laughs> Dottery, home with the hustle. He knows home what's up. <laughs> There's hey, Hefe. Ain't seen Hefe in a couple of days either. So, yeah, <laughs> we've been we've been getting blessed and shot totally off subject, but like so many people have been stopping by, visiting everything. I love it. Like every time someone comes in, I'm like, yeah, I'm so excited. So That's nobody cool goes see Brandon. <laughs> hey, Corey came by me first. So, <laughs> hey, what are you talking about? I just didn't post pictures of it. We didn't. We talked for a while, and you know, I'm I was happy he stopped by. Right, he caught caught me before I went to the camp. So. Anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Mark and Stefan talking about don't knock them bears. <laughs> I know. We got uh, Mr. Michael Hernandez. What's up, and Jeff Crumweedy? Jeff... <laughs> <laughs> it's a good old Frank. Good old Frank. So yeah, I, that's what it, it. Until you showed that. You know, to me earlier, the, the get shit done uh, coffee back there. I'm like, damn, I didn't, even, I didn't know. I... Yeah. So now y'all know who does the so, promo banners because I, I made sure to put that in the promo. Banner. Yeah. I, you know, I didn't even. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't do it this time. If y'all anyway, haven't tried it, by the way, it's delicious. I, I haven't, and, I, and I want to. So, um, I will be getting in contact with you. You need to bring oh. it to MTE. And oh yeah, for sure. That's what people we, uh, need the most because we can stay up to four o'clock in the morning. <laughs> yeah. Right. But but, and, but I agree with I agree with Andy what he we, we said earlier uh before we went live was uh uh Biggs, you're listening. Um Craig, Christina, Chris, Stevie D, all y'all, <laughs> y'all need to carry it on the vans. Yeah. Um, what better time so, to have cold coffees when you Fixing hail and everything, and grab it right there. Boom! Yeah, get everybody all, so, all jacked up. That's it. I'm all jacked <laughs> up on get shit done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. So let's nah. let's uh let's kind of get into that real quick uh, before we jump into like the family life and that because like huh? what what 
made you do that? What made you get into doing the the coffee stuff on the side? Oh, it, the coffee was, was kind of, kind of by, kind of by accident. Um, so like I like 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 we talked, I hey, kind of invested in buying domains, uh, and so in 2017, um, I got together with some guys. Guys, I like what you guys are doing. I had been in the PDRBR business, maybe five percent of percent of my income or business is hail damage at service. Now I'm, I'm down to maybe six six to ten body shops that I said I service exclusively. Back back in the day, it was for more when I was more ambitious, and now there's uh, more guys knitting. You know, to kind of fall off. Um, a little, little funny stuff. That real quick is uh, I tell. I tell the shop that I work with now that they're my first ring shops. You know, but it's like a, lot, a lot of guys with like where one one star shops or you know you know whatever. And I'm like, no, you're, no, you're my ring shops. And then and they ask me, well, what's that mean? So I'll, I'll answer to the to call them the first ring. And so <laughs> I, I tried to call him yesterday. He's like, he's like, that's the first ring. He's like, I told you, <laughs> right? I got a couple of those. Those are nice to have. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So as people, so, so those shops, I've I've had. I've actually done done busy these same shop shops for almost twenty years. Brandy got so, work going. Uh, <laughs> yeah, right. right. Uh, and so I got in the habit of buying domains, and and it got to go some guys. We started a Facebook page, page called Home of the Home of the Hub. I started the page, and we started doing live interviews like what we're doing here, um, with the intention of network with work with people in the mar- marketing, branding, or the entrepreneur space. Like it was kind of like a podcast. It's so built up an audience there that knew for entrepreneurship and hustle. Um, and so kind of flowed to my personal pay pay following and, and so on so on. Um and so one of the one of the first brands that I started, um, right, we were talking about, about beard earlier, uh, it's called Baby, Baby Beard. And so that came about because I was I was in the process of growing grow beard, uh, uh want to to help stop the itching and maybe help it grow a bit more more um and came up with a product and what, what wound up happening was the first night i used it, it slept really good so i'd already had this domain because at the, at the about that about that same time was a uh, dollar shave club or dollar beard club um all this fake machismo bullshit, bullshit you know i got a big beard and i got flannel shirt and skinny pay pants i'm a man you know, you know here roar <laughs> it's like, yeah, like whatever <laughs> If you look at all those things, they're all, yeah, all I know. Smell, smells like whiskey Pony barrel, tail. tobacco. Yeah. Man uh, bun. Man bun. <laughs> yeah. And I ain't, I ain't hating because I'm bald. I mean, it's, it's a man bun, you know, seriously. seriously. Uh, yeah. So I, I had this audience and I had, and I had a network work of people I could bounce ideas off of. I had the domain babybeardclub.com. Uh, and I had this idea for what I called called essential beard oil. So I was leveraging the therapeutic effects of essential oils in beard oil because it's like a facial diffuser. It's right here in your face. So I, I, we had guys that would literally, literally which means say, they, like my infant, my toddler goes right to but I put it next to my beard because, because <laughs> of the oils. Well, yeah. That was night, nighttime and beard oil. And it had a daytime and beard oil that had pepper, peppermint and stuff like that that was, was invigorating. And it was called, called Get John. Um, and so the home of the hustle, we, we built it when never had a plan to monetize it specifically really with courses or any of that, any of that kind of stuff. Um, and so eventually moving forward, it kind of wound down, down to where I was the only one, uh, doing videos and, and running the pen, the page. Um, just at another networking event deal, uh, over, uh, over in Kansas, I met some guys that have a coffee company. They, they like call it. Uh, contract canning or co packing company so that they can coffee for other people, and uh, so uh, I, I had met them. The beards they bought some beer from me because we our value system sign, like you know, pro America, the hustle, um, yeah. you know, masculinity, manhood, manhood, and you know, the true meaning of that, that stuff. Um, and so they're they're buying, they're buying coffee from them, or I, I was coffee beans from beans from them, personal use, they're buying beard oil. And so one day I had ordered some get shit done stickers to give away with the get shit done beard oil. And, and I ordered coffee beans and those, and those guys. And so like, like literally it was their coffee, coffee beans without labels because mm-hmm. their main business was 
the canning side of business. Um, um, so I had some get shit done, shit done made for the beard oil to give away with orders. So I literally, I put it on a sticker here on coffee, like just, just like this, posted it on Facebook, and everybody was like, like, is that seriously so you get shit done coffee? How do I buy, buy it? Matter of fact, like Chris Crystal, one of the first ones. Yeah, so I didn't realize that, that the coffee that, that they, they sold me was, was in like four bags. I was like, how little of a clue I had. And so I had like six bags laying around because they ran out of the 12 ounce bag bags and a whole bunch of four, four ounce bags. So I, so I put stickers bag I had, had and sold everybody. You know, like a week, week later, I realized only four ounce bag bags instead of 12 ounces. I, I, I sent them more coffee for free. free. Um, it's, it's so how it got started. And then that's when I, I realized, I just, you know, the, uh, what, what the hustle was and what, what, what I could do with it. Um, because I didn't have a, I didn't have a website or anything. It just had the, the face page. I own domain. And so I was, so I was, I was on another podcast kind of like this, um, a friend, friend of mine, he, he sells, sells like eight figures on, on Amazon, Amazon here. He's a well-established, um, very successful guy. And he asked me to come on his podcast to tell, tell the hundred dollar story. And so when we're, I'm, we're, I'm sitting here seeing his reaction when he asked to tell the hundred dollar story, how about a hundred dollar video tape? You know, you know, top hands of trade and I beat the damn damn street streets. So that's where I get a bill for the potholes. I can see his, see his face light up. And so that, that's when it just dawned on me um, to move the coffee, coffee from the baby beard club website and, and build home of the hustle web website uh, so that I can leverage the story of starting my own, my own business, um, you know, and do, doing my own thing mm-hmm. through the coffee. So for me, Frank, sex sell, I'm selling, selling inspiration permission. Um, every can of coffee, I mean, it literally says, be damn streets the hard the hard you know they signal for the potholes on the side i can it says do it scared until you do it skilled uh another a buddy of mine was asking me one day about starting starting a new business and I, I, it's dumb shit that comes my, out of my mouth i was like i don't know man. It was scared. <laughs> you know, I, I, you know I, i'm a rook, rookie to the, the next myself so, so i know i'm just yeah gonna... so is there a uh is there a website right now yeah well, the hustle.com the hustle yeah, home, home of the hustle.com. Home of the hustle.com. I was, yeah, yeah, was, was going to put it on the screen. Okay. So real quick, uh, Stephen, uh, yeah, we're having – I think there's a little bit of technical difficulties. There's, you still got the little bit of the echo. A couple people mentioned it, but we're just, we're going to power through it because we can still understand yeah. what you're saying. It's just we got a little echo going. But All right, so home of the hustle.com. Correct. Correct. All right, let me add that to. We, we're gonna we're gonna scroll it down. There we here. go. Boom. Or there we go. Look at that. We fancy. So y'all go to homeofthehustle.com and get you some of this coffee because I'm definitely gonna do it. But I'm also gonna reach out to you and see if you got any of that beard stuff that makes me not it, so I can grow my <laughs> beard out. Because you know my wife's big into we we do a lot of the essential oils and stuff like that too. And uh, mm-hmm. so yeah, I'm I'm definitely interested in that. I'm gonna see if I can grab some, uh, yeah. get it here before the meetup, and then you know, throw some out at the meetup or whatever. So maybe. There it is. Hell yeah, that'd be awesome. It's yeah, for yeah. sure. It's a lot of, a lot of fun. Uh, but the so reason got, I wanted to sorry, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, the main reason I wanted to do stuff, stuff like like the coffee or, or the home of the hustle deal, is yeah. even though. You know, as I was going through, I guess this maturity process. I'm, I'm, I'm fate. Um, got a long ways to go to be mature. Uh, yeah, I started to realize, you know, if I if I call myself in and leader of my family, that, that it was it was really possible of me to not have my, my mindset around cash flow and you know um, revenues and profits versus just just. Income, how much how much I can go out and hustle and, and and earn with my hands. You know, the reality is, if I, if I break this this pinky, I get work. Mm-hmm. And that, to me, was was irresponsible of me. So that's why I started about this other stuff, stuff and focus on that to build something that could that that could you know make money money while I'm sleeping. Yeah, James, I've seen your PDR work. You ain't scared when you're pushing. <laughs> <laughs> ain't skilled yeah. neither, but you ain't scared. <laughs> hey, I'm going, I'm going to share the website real quick. Um, Perfect. Let's see. Let me. Uh, What's up, Beldar? Steven said that uh, shipping super fast. Don't drink two back to back. 
Here it is. All right, here we go. You like a crackhead. There we go. Look at you. You get on. We're getting fancy yeah. up in the ginger yeah. bros. We sharing screens yeah. and shit now. Yeah. Look at this. I like it. Oh, Gee, we man. got K cups and, and everything. See, I'll end up getting some of the like the, the coffee I can put in my coffee maker too, though. I'll give me some K cups. Got some like swag going on. Ooh. Fancy. Yeah, that's that's pretty awesome, man. And uh <clears throat> so y'all go check it out. Home of the Especially, hustle.com. You know how the PDR industry is. We want to support our own, and it's definitely a good way to support our own right here. So, yep. Absolutely. It is. So, let me uh, let me stop this. There we go. Yeah, look at that. Look, I'm Mike Toledo. I can share pages now. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. I'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't let me have control of this shit. <laughs> It'd be better if we, uh, if we had, uh, the the streaming service that we were going to go to and i didn't realize that it was on automatic <laughs> renewal <It laughs> next happens. thing i know hey where was stream yard again for a year so oh well hey. we made it this far <laughs> yep that's how they can get you that's it yeah. automatic no i won't have to worry about re-upping yeah you won't <laughs> you want it all i didn't i didn't realize it was that way but I've anyway. had something like a free trial, and it re-upped the minute that I had downloaded the free trial. It re-upped per to that minute. I was like, "Good yeah. God, y'all don't play around, <laughs> right?" I, no more. I used to do like the, the yeah. I used to do like the free trials, especially on like TV shows or movies that I'm not subscribed to, and I'll watch that real quick, and then I, you know, it'll, it'll be the same day or whatever, and then I just cancel the. I'll try that with Dead Repair. Free trial, come in, get your door didn't fix. Oh wait, your free trial's over. <laughs> Every, I fixed every day on it for fifteen hundred dollars. Yep. Oh, as soon as you walked in the door, it was done. So it's gonna cost you this much. My new, I got it. I'm thinking. I think I think it'd be good even having like the coffee here at the shop and stuff like that to sell. You know, I, mm -hmm. I, I, yeah, it's always a, a it's a good conversation, sir. Um, um, yeah, as yeah. well. Have a little little shelf and then uh, having something if somebody's interested in it and. I think, yeah. I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, I, I love it. But like it's said, a lot of fun. And I can testify to it because I've had to drink some. So. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love my coffee. So That's my first I've thing seen in the it. morning. I've seen it, and I, re I remember seeing it and that, and I haven't I hadn't even thought about it. And then when you showed it before the show, I'm like, crap. Yeah. Yes. Brandon thought he had beer behind him. He's like, look at all that beer you got. I was like, dude, that's I know. Look at all the beer in his shirt. I'm like, oh, yeah. Oh, you're. Okay. It's been a good season, yeah. fellas. It's a good season. Yeah. So, yeah, let's. um, We're about halfway through the show, almost halfway. Mm -hmm. Um, How has your how's your season been going as far as PDR and the hell? Uh, uh, it's been phenomenal. I, so we'll, we'll get tied this in with, with you. You're asking a little bit earlier about family and stuff. So, uh, yeah, like, like, like a lot of people, people, most people nowadays, um, uh, you know, had a couple of relationships that, uh, didn't work the way that I thought they would, but I have two, two amazing kids, um, at that. And so for the last, last 10 years, um, I had sole custody a hundred percent. All uh, so before my wife and I got together, you know, I was, I was a single dad, and, and so single dad with two teenagers, I couldn't tra travel a whole lot, so I haven't traveled uh, until the year. I haven't really traveled for over 10 years. I'm, I'm just stuck around here and here. It's it's hell enough here, for Kansas, that, that I can make a really mm -hmm. decent, you know, living. Uh, but you know, I married my soul mate last year, and both our youngest are teenagers, full full times jobs in there. They're kind of get stage uh, into into they don't necessarily need you know me to be here. So we had a conversation that you know I told her, hey, I haven't traveled for a long long time. That's you know hell is how how we make money money in this. Um, so we had that conversation on Sunday Monday. A dude called me that that worked for me one time like four four years ago. I had talked to him until that point, yeah. um, and he said, hey, uh, it's yeah, I got a bunch of work right here. Um, you know, I have this shop that uh, has a couple weeks weeks left. A shop over here that's it's got you know, just held Saturday. And they got forty come on to come in already. And I said, well, if, well if, if if that guy calls, then let me know. I'll I'll, I'll come. That <laughs> this, this on a, 
on Sunday, my wife and I had, I had the question on Monday. They got back, back to me, you know, on Wednesday. And I was out of state. I was in Missouri working. Um, and so the kind of, kind of crazy thing was that, that after that, for that first week, um, both of our youngest moved out. They decided they wanted to, you know, spread their wings and fly and fly and go, mm-hmm. go be a dog. And so it's pretty interesting, interesting time because, you know, now uh, here I am working five, five hours away from home. Um, and, you know, my, my poor wife, she's, she's at home and, and you're the, you know, having noise and having kids, having kids, having school and she's home alone. So it was a pretty, yeah. pretty interesting experience. Uh, but, but it, it was definitely worth it. You know, that, uh, I mean, I've been from May and June. I spent most of that, most, most of those months out of state working. Uh, I would work two or three weeks out of town. All the, all the shops I do with at home, I'm, um, Hey, I'm booked out for two or three weeks. Um, and then I would book a week at home and I'd go back and, you know, do, do two weeks on the road, road, just whatever it took to, took to make it work. Right. These wives don't get enough credit either. You got to give a shout out to all the wives that deal with our, our asses and then deal with everything we, we let them to, have to deal with. <laughs> like, all right, we'll see you. I'm going to go fix some dance, uh, have all this. Like even my wife works here full time and still makes, you know, goes and gets kids from school, uh, does all uh-huh. her keeping and stuff. So you got to, I mean, huge shout out to all the wives. Oh yeah. 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 She's been able to help, help you the coffee and, and just life in general. Uh, like we, 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 so it's, it's, it's pretty amazing how we, how we, because like, uh, so I used to, I still, I still read dirt bikes. That's what I do for fun. Um, and that's what my kids like to do with me sometimes, sometimes, but, but I raced dirt bikes. So, you know, back, back in the day, uh, when I was doing dirt bikes as, as a youngster, um, I, I, I would, I guess, kind of, I guess, kept, kept, you call like local fast, fast guy or some, uh, um, but her ex road bikes also. And so I, I remember his name, I remember meeting him a couple of times. I, remember, I, I saw her one time, time. I, I went to a house party um, and I saw them there as a couple and that was the first time I saw her. And it's just, it's just one of those deals like, you're just, wow, holy shit, you know. <laughs> that was, that's the only thing I remember. Uh, and then I, you know, I never saw her again until right. uh, 2020. Um, she got, got a divorce and I, I, I got divorced and, uh, you know, she popped up on Facebook and, and, uh, I didn't know who she was. I, I was just a gorgeous woman. Woman. We have a lot of old friends. So I, so I sent a friend request and she accepted. And so eventually, you know, a ways down the road, we just start chatting. And I was like, hey, what's up? You know, how you doing? Whatever. Blah. Brag. Tell, tell her coffee business. And, and she'd be like, cool. Right on. <laughs> you know? so she, That's what you need. Somebody keep you grounded. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, she'd gone through, uh, you know, gone, gone through her process and, and, you know, and then, uh, hitting on her and certain stuff but she she says something about you know her her ex and her ex is in his name and then i'm like thinking to myself, myself like okay okay why should i know that uh I'm like why <laughs> yeah in my mind why why you bring his name up but then then look at her last name and i was like holy holy shit, you're that you're that chick chick from 25 years ago <laughs> that you know, you know that, that wowed me um and it's just work that we had a lot of mutual friends. The guys that work work in her office um, are are likely they know me. Um, her boss knows me, and so it just worked out that you know, thing aligned and what she who she was via who her, her ex was. That, that's when I knew getting married because because I knew what what God had done. Done, you know, he he introduced to my, my ideal partner all this time ago. But then he knew that I needed to go through the, through the process, you know, and the refinement, um, you know, just to be the man that I am today to where I mean, we've been together, Heather, uh, three, uh, three years now we've had, we've never gotten sideways, no arguments, just, just, just total unconditional, additional love. And I tell her it's the first, first time I've ever been in a relationship and I can so completely love myself. And that's, that's fucking huge. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Love it. Yeah, I think the universe has a way and the Lord has a way of putting you back in touch with you, who you're supposed to be with instead of like, that's kind of like Amanda, like she lived at four and a half hours away. We met on a dating site, wasn't even supposed to, like supposed to be a local dating site and she, they're showing me somebody four and a half hours away and here we are today. So 
I think they're just, you know, good Lord putting that in, in your path. So, yeah. Yeah. That, that's a part of life is to just try to pay attention. You know, it's, it's like a uh, philosophy. I, I live from a, a book called dollars want me. Um, but basically you know, like what, one of the things that books folks said that is that really everything created and except that the ver- version of me that, that, that aligns with, you know, what we really, really want, want, um, just like with, you know, uh, if, if you're looking to get into PDR business, you know, it's just some missing pieces is, and nothing is stopping you from growing and learning that information, especially nowadays, the information yeah. out there everywhere. Absolutely. Uh, you hear that? That was your text. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't resist. I yes. Say my little jab. <laughs> yep. it's, yeah. it's easy. The information is out there yeah. all over the place. So, yeah, still hard. It's hard running your own business and everything, but it's the, I don't know. If you've got the, if you got the skills to do the work, you can, you can figure it out pretty quick. You're not going to let you and your family starve. No, I promise you that. Yeah, it, it's always you always do what? You always hire what you don't know. That's what you I was know, exactly or, about to say. Like, there's people yeah. out there that'll do what you don't know and gladly mm-hmm. do it. So, yeah, absolutely. Uh, yep, sir. What kind of dirt bike you got? I have a the Honda. Kind of, the uh, kind that takes other people's women. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Their exes. What, what, <laughs> so, what's fun? What's funny is I was going to ask what the jerseys were behind you hanging up, and then you you went in. That makes sense now, right? (laughs) Yeah. So so with the with the copy, um, part part of the market initially, initially, all of our our tied up in the product itself. That's pretty expensive, kind of get going. Mm -hmm. And 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 so I would. It's one thing with uh, uh, social media is I've 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 been years now very intentional on on who I net with, who I for for request, who I allow allow circle. Uh, A lot of that was the beginning like marketers and entrepreneurs and but then especially especially i transitioned over to instagram uh you know i reach out to a lot of professional motocross across guys you guys you see on tv and so on they have coffee and so it was a really low cost way because i already had money tied up in the product i use the product to market the product i would send them the product uh and then, then they would put it on their instagram they, they call it a uh doing sort of marketing kind of stuff yeah um so these jerseys are actually some of the like factory level level um professional professional guys you see on tv awesome. that have yeah. have drink our product or plus display our like on box tv uh the year cross last last year um the guys got involved because they would get on the podium podium or coffee up there <laughs> <You know, laughs> they blur out the whole can because it says you know the shit on there so eventually, so that wound up having to put electrical <laughs> electrical tape over the SH so they could have the cam TV. Yeah. Get it done. Get her Get done. done. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's a really low cost way to do stuff on national television. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I know today on your story, you were saying Gary V's sports line or something has been reaching out about getting it in the MMA. Getting... Yeah. Yeah. I just got email. Uh, um, Oh, oh, this is here yesterday. Uh, Gary Vaynerchuk's sports, uh, his, his sports side of his business program marketing. Uh, they they have they reached out about about the somebody saw our brand. Um, I, I suppose Instagram or somewhere they saw, it, and they just they like the vibe. They like, like the brand, uh, you know, and just want to see a way that that maybe we can collaborate collaborate with fighters in the MMA UFC. Um, and then uh, uh, we just did a deal. Um, um, Rob Bukowski, the Patriots guy, mm-hmm. um, football player, his oh, brother yeah. Chris, uh, he has a brother Chris Gromkowski that has a company called Ice Shaker. But um, they just reached reached out and they just some free free personal shakers with our our logo and stuff uh, lasered in, into those, so that we he just sent me, sent me the pricing so on. So now now I can I can buy buy them. From Gronk's little brother, Chris Gronk. That's um, awesome. So we we can do that. So a lot of the other stuff, you know, it's just like it's like there are two degrees of separation from anybody. So now yeah. now we're just with the Gronkowski's. He's uh, his Chris is going to make a video because in trade for them sending us some brand branded bucks, 
I sent some coffee, so, he, so now he's on a little video of, of trying our coffee. Sweet. It's, it's, so it's it's kind of neat, just how uh, you know how, how, the, how the wheel turns. Absolutely. Send him a little snippet of this uh, podcast, so we got the Gronkowski. Right <laughs> <the game, right>? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we yeah. try and get on that level. <laughs> <laughs> we we got to make sure we even get on every week. It's been yeah. <laughs> it's <laughs> It's, it's been tough. It's, yeah, it's been a busy year so far. So, yeah, we uh, definitely, but blessed, yeah, blessed and tired, blessed to say time. the least. I tell everybody, I'm right. like, look, I'm not complaining, but I'm complaining. Yeah, because I'm wore out. You know. Yeah, it, but it's drag. You got to do it when you can do it. So and that's the thing this year with everybody chasing hell and everywhere. Like it's hard to get consistent help like you get somebody for a week here a week there but you know when you need that consistent help you're just like well i guess i'm just gonna have to yeah. get consistent, shit done consistent yeah. good help like that good, yeah. Yeah. you can call anybody in i can call a bunch of locals <laughs> in but shit ain't yeah. good so yeah you know that in. works out for you <laughs> <laughs> other than Joe. one but he's been he, he we've had on the podcast and, yeah. and he's been traveling to helping people over in mississippi so and doing his own yeah. thing so All right it's uh Anyway, yeah, that actually worked out in my favor right now because it's been a long time since I've worked. I set up something outside of my own my own shop, one of the shop, one of the shops I work in. So I'm working over in a town that's about an hour and a half away, uh, and, and uh, uh, my wife works half, half days on Friday. So there, there was there was a store over there. I don't I don't know three four months ago, I was still wrapping up uh, over northern Missouri where I was working at. So I didn't really pay attention, attention to storm over here. Uh, and then one Friday afternoon, she works half days. I said, hey, let's just go, let's go to Grand, uh, uh, look around and see what the damage is like. Because I'd heard some, some of the damage was like, you know, you know cinder block. It was just, it was just destroyed. Part of it. Hey, hell no. Um, and then, so I said, let's, let's just go look at it. And so she said, well, that's pretty cool. Uh, um, a body shop. She works for a company called Lifesafer. It's on the DUI uh Drive deals or blow the blow and go, whatever you call those things. Yeah, for drive. yeah. And and one of shops in Great Man is a service center for them, so they all the devices. Is and she said I've talked talked to these people for ten, ten years, but I've never met, met them personally. So it'll be, be kind of neat. So I, I go pick her up for on Friday. We drive over, drive over, get get to meet them, start talking to them, and, and uh, you know, and then he's like, well, yeah, like you know, half of the town has really really nice. Damn, damage. So he took me out, showed us, showed us my vehicle, um, and it's per- perfect, perfect tail damage. Yeah. Um, but he said there, there's no other retail retail stuff in, in t- town, and all the two and a half body shops that are in t- town are about till February. So, the, so the next week he wound up calling my wife to get, get my phone number, and, and he called me and he said, "Hey, uh, there's still no, nobody else in town. You want to set up set up a retail?" Here's an insurance agent's name and number that has a retail building building that you can rent. And, and so the following week I went over there and ran and, and look, looked it all over. And it worked out to be a sweet deal. Uh, awesome. Nice location. I'm booked out to uh, Thanksgiving right now. Right now, Hell damage uh, from this storm. Um, nice. And so it's just kind of neat how, how it all works out. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Heck yeah. Who's a who, who are they an insurance agent for? <laughs> uh, that's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> no, are they, send, or, are or they are they sending you work too? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's me some work. Um, good. and th- the car I'm working on right now is a neighbor across the alley, which is another insurance agent. Um, he's he's coming across the alley one alley one. He's like, hey, I saw you here. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Your van, your van front. Um, so I'm doing his personal vehicle. Nice. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Love it. Love it when everything works out like it. It don't happen often, so when it does, you got to embrace it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it, and it's been part of our our plan this year. Um, part of why I told my wife I wanted to go work on the road is try try as much cash cash as possible possible because because the coffee brand doesn't move unless we we move it by hand. Right. Um, and with this kind of brand, now look at it. It's it's a it's a multi multi dollar brand, but it's a multi dollar dollar. This meaning it doesn't make a lot of money. Money, in fact, it, it takes it eats more money than it makes us because it's growing. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. 
So my mission was to stack up some cash and hire a marketing agency to start start pushing that. Um, so I made a, a post on, I think it was on my Instagram, Instagram about, you know, we're finally we're working on our business instead of in our business. I mean, I'm hiring people yeah. to come help us move product with, without our interaction, interaction to where mm-hmm. then we actually actually have a, a real business. And from that, we can scale scale that and grab to where if if we want, want to replace my PDR income, we can. Uh, I really hate to, to leave relationships that I've said I've built for 20 years. Um mm-hmm. Because if I quit doing this, they're going to find somebody to do it. Which I mean, somebody can can do it. Um, but it's kind of you know you know have, have relationships. Yep. Uh, so that's been kind of kind of the plan this year awesome. um, and lately. I'm yeah. firm believer. I preach that all the time. Like that's me right now. I'm working for my business and not owning. It's driving me insane. But somebody got to fix yeah, this, yeah. and I'm the, I'm that guy right now. So same here. Yeah. Same here. <laughs> <laughs> And I love fixing this, don't get me wrong, but I can't grow anything when I'm stuck in the back all day fixing it. So, and I want to grow. Yeah. I'm, like I keep joking, I'm trying to be that Matt Moore you get off wish. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so, yeah, that guy's kill, killed it, man. Uh, it's so oh, awesome. Yeah. awesome. Oh, yeah. I'm That's so, great, man. I'm so appreciative to have him as a friend. Like I can hit him up anytime. And I mean, anybody really can't hit him. So he's right there to text, he'll answer your questions and everything. So it's it's been yeah. really awesome. And I got to meet him when he was just a one man show running around the car lots and nice. I was like, Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> like, how did you do <laughs> right? that? Wearing puppy vest and shit now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Real Patagonia. laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's really you know, it's my, you know, investing in myself and in the you know, the brand and part 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 that comes from is investing in myself. I I know uh, uh you you at the beginning like, like I say we were, I was focused on a big in, in income about a hundred thousand thousand dollars was a giant giant goal um you know it's that's that's still still good money but but more to life life and so so like people people would say like you know I want to be the best best you Patrick possible um you, you know, I want to be the best Frank Sell possible well I got I got competition I, I'm ready to sell the fourth fourth my fifth you know my dad's still alive he's a third so there's three Frank cells living right now in my family. <laughs> so to be, the, to be the best Frank cell, uh, you know, it takes a lot of intentional input, reading, uh, what to listen to, what you what you, what you, um, yep. and you surround yourself with. Yeah, I need to get a book list from you. I'm trying to. I need to get back into reading. I was doing really good, 75 hard, but even after uh-huh. that, I read some books, but they were you know reacher books, so it wasn't like self help. It was just some cool shit in the reacher books. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, there's, is it? I I kind of uh, the a phrase the way that I, I put it to myself is the way I look at this process. This was understanding who's thinking, you're thinking, thinking. It comes from what, whether it's the Bible. Um, I haven't read it, but I've listened to the whole book of Dianetics, the whole Scientology crap. Uh, but science, and then now we like science, science, uh, Joe, Joe Dispenza, with this, uh, you know, the, the epigenetics and genetics, that's the programming, but basically all, all these, all these things are different, saying, saying the same, the same in different ways. Like, you know, science, the Bible, they like sins of the father or sins of the son. So basically these are just patterns that are, that are passed on to us and science will show you that from zero to seven, we develop up all of our. Habits, original habits, habits, reactions, how we respond to things, and so, on. and then we stop g- growing right there. So we literally keep repeating those same same emotions, same patterns, the rest of our yeah. life, mm-hmm. because we don't know who's thinking, we're thinking. We don't realize that we have we have a choice how we respond to stuff or how we re- react, how our relationships um, um built you know, with money with our our spouses or kids, kids whatever hell yeah you said you had teenagers uh you just got two teenagers yes yeah, so we, we have four um four. combined vanessa has, has two daughters, um and then i have i have a daughter, son and so my my son he's worked at a shop now for for a year um, um he's just way way up to but basically, the A team, my technician. Now they're awesome. starting to move him into uh, more of the body shop stuff. Um, my daughter is what they call a OSR outside sales rep, working that one that way with United United Rental. She's 
very personable, um, can talk to anybody. Uh, uh, a really, really good natural fit for her. For Vanessa's uh, young, youngest is CNA. Um, she's a very caring person. Um, and then, then her oldest daughter, Harley, she, she, uh, uh, I, th I think it's like data input um, for for local Kroger, Kroger wow. company. That's awesome. Awesome. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Has any of them yeah. taken interest in the, like the, your guys' brands or stuff like that? Like they would want to move in with, you know, within the positions within the Get Shit Done or Home of the Hustle or anything like that? Not really, because that's, cause that's it's never really been a, much of a, an opportunity. Because like I said, it's literally just Vanessa and me, um, you know, going out slinging, sling, slinging the cat. Um, my, son, my son's press interest in interest in learning dent repair. Uh, but I, I put the out there. I was like, bro, I, I, I'm not going to tape tape. You know, I can, I can come show you, but you are going to have to show. You are going to have to be planned to, to give yourself, you know, three three nights a week, um, two hours a night, something to, to do this. this. So he's... He's trajectory right now with where he's at, um, doing some successful theft. So I think he's, he's it's kind of like we all get to to a point where well, I'm doing pretty good yeah. right now. So so I'm just really happy that that you know with with all our kids they show up, um, they're good people, you know, and they'll just do the damn work. Right. You know, that's all. That's a that's a win today's world. Yeah, world. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm hoping our kids get there one day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. They're kind of spoiled a little bit, but we'll figure it out. We got good kids. They just ain't figured out the yeah, hustle yeah. yet. So yeah, my daughter wants like, to learn PDR, but I'm like, I ain't got to pay. I got to, I might train Ray before I get to her. Like I got people in line for <laughs> getting trained on dance yeah. around here. And I oh, forget yeah, all. oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. But Zig Ziglar, he said, he talks about it. He says the one of the worst things we can do to our kids is to steal struggle from, them. you know, steal struggle that was meant to, meant to grow them as parents. parents it's easy. You know, short term to go fix their problem, you know, it's, it's not, not, not easy to your kids struggle. Um, but I know, I know at the end of the day, it's worth it, right? Yeah. It's a little different. Like, my daughter, she's you know, at her age, I was 14 when I had my first job worked up, and she's 16 now, and she's in the, the drama clubs. Her grades are good, honors classes, and all that. So, I'm not like, if she's doing all that, I'm good with that. Like, you don't have to go get a job, I'll take care of you, but. Yeah, one day she's gonna have to learn the hard way. Like, oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like that ain't all there is to it. So, but she'll learn. like I said, I'm proud of her for honor classes and everything. So I, I wasn't doing that shit in school. That's why I got a job. <laughs> yeah, right. But I work with these. These. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I think, with my I, hands. I think I think you know our you know people our age. We we really wanted to to get out there and make our own money. And like I know my son does, but he's looking at like we're building a top golf. It's about to be open. Hopefully, he was like, "It was the benefits, you know, I can go play and I might <laughs> and get free food." I'm like, "You don't get Those to play as much as you want. You don't get." To. I said, "And baseball is about to come up. It's your senior year, so you don't really know what your schedule is going to be. Won't you just come to the shop and clean up in the afternoons? I will pay you." You know, mm -hmm. but but they don't realize, you know, because we already put money in the account. They need gas and all that kind of stuff. I mean, we're just we're just putting it in there, and it's like kids nowadays are just they don't understand <laughs> how you actually. It's a different it. world. It's a different yeah, world. It is. But I yeah. seen a video of a girl like breaking down crying because she had to work a nine to five. She's like. <laughs> Where am I supposed to find time to do this and that? I got to work at nine. I'm like, oh my god! Like, give me the nine yeah. to five. <laughs> like, let's see. Yeah, yeah. That's when that's, that's when you learn to stay up late. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, right. right. And then when you get older, you just go to bed early. <laughs> yeah, Frank, I gotta ask: Is your son that's in the body shop? Do you service that body shop? Nope. Okay. Uh -huh. I was gonna say you ever walk in, he's like a damn dent guy's here again. Like you <laughs> break in all the dough and then roll out while I'm still <laughs> <laughs> No, it's it's pretty awesome. Every time I walk in there, because I, I know him um, um really well, the the, the shop owners and they're one of the one of the biggest shops on uh they they just come in every time and, and praise you know praise my kid. That makes and, you feel so proud. Yeah, yeah, they they, they every time I like, man wish you had had four three or more kids, kids just <laughs> So it's it's really cool. They 
they know who I am. They know what I do. Um, but I don't, I don't ever, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't miss that. Do you there. ever, you ever plan on maybe, you know, doing a retail location and not traveling for hell? And oh, I've had a retail retail for twenty years. Oh, in, in my hometown. So, so, yeah. So, so I since. But you actually have a shop, or yeah, you just uh-huh. have? Thank okay, yeah. well, I just missed yeah. that. I guess. Yes, yeah, so I saw. Okay. In in 2000, 2006, 2006 is when I bought my my first location. Okay. And so, basically, what I do is just, I noticed I noticed right away away in in the the PDR and the industry, I I went out went out and did a few shops, just cold calling them, and I noticed right away get in this in the same store that they kept telling. Me, well, the guy we used to use, he said, call him when when we got fighting cars, you know, to fix. So that's when, you know, 15, 15 20 years ago, ago uh, you know, I had a lot more energy. I went out and I rounded up about 20 body shop shops. And I said, hey, you get a car on Monday and, and you get a car on Tuesday and you get a car on Wednesday. I just would fill my week up, you, you yeah. know, one. I mean, just, it's, a lot, it's a lot of footwork. Mm-hmm. Uh, built up quite quite the retail just in, in a local within probably 80, 80 miles of, of home. But then I had my shop up in South Hutchinson, Kansas. And two or three body shops there, there in town, just all bring their stuff in my shop. And then also have, you know, our, our own retail customers that, that would come to us um, as well. So that's, that's, that's how I, how I operate. I have that location. And then now, uh, like I said, the, the temporary location, the next town. Next town. You uh, have any employees or just you? And more I did, did uh, in the beginning, I, I, I had, had a sub, that would work with me full time, full time. Um, then after, after he left, uh, I just, you know, if I get, if I get booked out too, too far, they start calling some subs in to help out yeah. or if we have a storm. Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. Awesome. And, that, and that's, that's something I, I remember, remember uh, making like, like a cost decision. We had, I had a lot of momentum probably 15, 10 years ago. And, mm. and I made that, that cost decision to, pull back back and keep expanding um basically not to grow myself and learn how, how to how to work how to work more with people and how to hire hire people um and so you know that now now is that so now so now it's kind of where i'm at now, now or how i've just kind of learned learned how to work with people and, and build relationships and, and that social capital capital uh yeah. just, kind of, just kind of apply it in a different way with you know with what the brand or whatever else we're doing well i think that that that's really what's you know, definitely helped Andy and is helping me with the 20 group uh, is <clears throat> mastermind, mastermind learning, you know, talking with others who own, you know, the companies and, and, and everything mm-hmm. and, and really working together to, to grow each of our businesses. In the Man, that's what we did. Growing. And that's what we did Friday. We spent all day helping each other with, you know, our problems in our mastermind group and yeah. no better feeling in the world. Like you got 20 like-minded people sitting there with you all figuring out sleep problems yeah. together and it's it's a great they, feeling everybody's you know. got a different issue going on that, that they need help with and but a lot of the issues have, if you notice was the kind of the, i mean related. It's, yeah. like it's all like Every, everybody has the same issues it's just everybody brings up the different issues of you know but but we have a whole collective group that helps each other grow and and really push you to to do you know like me i have trust issues so hiring somebody <laughs> <laughs> that's always been my thing, you know, and, and I've seen it, I've seen Andy grow, you know, tremendously from it. Um, oh, I was going to say, I thought you were going to say get burnt. <laughs> no, well, but, but I mean, that, that, ain't from the, the, that ain't from the group though, but it, it's yeah. just, um, but it, it, anyway, it just having others in, in the industry, in your industry that can have your back like that and, and you can, balance everything off of it is just tremendous so well, on accountability too yeah. you're more accountable you got somebody on your lighting yeah. a fire under your ass like yep. get that done yet? oh yeah yeah <laughs> so that, well, that's that one of the, uh the principles you know they can grow, grow rich one of the like book has created created more success um, um than almost any book out there and it's the mastermind principle is one of the foundation principles in that and then that book Awesome. Yeah, you're gonna have to just message me the book list that you got whenever we get off here. <laughs> I need yeah. to do some reading. It sounds like. 
Do some reading and some beard growing. That's it. Yep. Yeah. Both. <laughs> well, man, I, you know, Frank, it's been awesome. I appreciate you coming on, brother. And, yes, um, y'all, uh, let me put it back on there one more time. I love you, man. Go to it's great. Home of the hustle.com and get shit done. Coffee. Y'all get it. Um, so you can get some shit done. You can get some shit done. Yeah. <laughs> Just somebody, make said, somebody said earlier, don't drink two in a row. Yeah. Yeah, Steven said don't drink two in a row. Yeah. That's all they make bigger cans. I love you too, Mom. Oh, Mama's on here. She's in town visiting for the week, so hang out here a little bit. Heck yeah. Nice. Well, I appreciate you guys having me on. That's absolutely, that's brother. Awesome. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes, I know I know the sound's been a little off. Uh everybody's bared with it. We still had a lot of viewers going mm -hmm. on and uh but you know are you going to MTE? I think, I think, I think so. I, I got to, to figure out. Um, you are going. So, all right. We got that. <laughs> You're going to MTE this year. <laughs> I, I may have a tool coming out. Also, uh -oh. go ahead and go book it because uh, there's not as many rooms saved as last year. So go okay. ahead and go book it. So you get that, that MTE rate, because if not, it's like double the price. Oh, so I'll be there because I want to, yeah. Per, and I want to hang out with you in person and talk. Like yeah, enjoy that. So it'd be awesome. Yeah, it'd be my first so, one. Yeah. Oh so hell go yeah! Ahead, go yeah, ahead and book it, and uh, we'll see you down there. But yeah, you're uh, famous now. You've been on Ginger Bros, so you're famous. <laughs> <laughs> or Andy, you can come to Andy's meetup. He's having uh, November 18th. So yeah, yeah, it's uh, a great uh, the toy drive meetup in Nashville. You can come come see us there. Okay. Yeah, right. we're gonna have a blast. Uh, we had 50 to 60 last year. Hoping to have around the same. Yeah. Uh, so I'll explain it, uh, Frank, everybody's listening. Uh, so what we do, everybody comes down. I got some tool companies going to offer up some tools for donation for raffle. So for every $25 toy you bring or $25, that's one ticket for, for the raffle. So I already know I got to do an unboxing for Kiko soon. I got it. It's coming in the mail. And then uh, I'm hoping to be doing some unboxing here for long of everything we get to raffle off. It's just a great time for a great cause. Like last year, blew it out of the park with toys yeah. for our annual or for our local toy patrol. Uh, charity, so it, it was great. It. You have finesse. You'll have Bonnie and Tim with finesse. Have Chris mm -hmm. Howell uh, with the Anson Van there, um, and then the, all the tools and stuff donated for the prizes last year were just tons of them. <laughs> and, dude, and, and then the, of course the toys that were donated. We have such a blast. It, it's great. It's it's great for the kids. We all do our own toy drives and stuff like that. But this was Andy started this last year doing like a tech meetup toy drive. Mm -hmm. Freaking awesome. So glad I did. And, and it was great. So uh, definitely going to be up there November 18th. Uh, so if you can make it, come on down. You know, go ahead and book a room and stuff. And, uh, and let me know, and I'll just buy coffee from you. You just bring it with you. Yeah, there you go. You bring, <laughs> shit, you'd probably sell out if you brought whatever you brought. So Yeah, especially for everybody going, for, going to Nashville. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. So anyway, no, again, thank you, Frank, for coming on. Uh, Y'all go visit the website, homeofthehustle.com. Uh, buy what you can, support him uh, as much as you can. And, and uh, man, we uh, can't thank you enough. I, I do. I'm like Andy. I like, I want to want to meet you in person and get to know you more because uh, I hate that the sound is messing up because me, I already can't hear and I'm just like, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's smiling and nodding. Uh, yeah. That's all right. But, I caught uh, it, Frank. I had you back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But no, uh, you know, again, we also want to thank you for, for watching the show as long as you've been watching it, stuff like that too. So it's supporting us and we definitely want to support you too. So um, again, everybody home of the hustle.com and we will see you next week. So peace out. Bye everybody. Peace out.